So this is our crane attachment, homemade. It's some um, uh, five by uh, three by five by quarter inch wall uh, piece of rectangular steel. It's about 12 foot long, about an eight foot long, three by like six I beam that steel plate is one inch by eight by eighteen uh, some of this top steel I have here is just scrap it's three sixteenths steel you can see where I welded it to the bucket and just uh, did some stitching there a little bit. Back here I knew that that's where a lot of that pressure is going to be so I, I ran some real hot beads. So this actually doubles as a load spreader. Um, we used it to remove the 50 by 100 steel building off of the semi truck by obviously we didn't have that welded in um, we had forks on it but what's nice about this is that we can still we just pull this out and put bucketfuls of dirt in and then just clean that hole out put this crane attachment back in but back to the load spreader part of it uh, we put a 24 foot piece of schedule 40 two and five eighths well pipe into it and we were able to pull all the sheet metal 25 foot lengths of sheet metal 26 27 foot lengths and all the iron off with it So this here is a uh, so our hydraulics can't take just the bucket hydraulics can't take the weight of much out there. If you understand a little bit about physics, which is all I understand, it's just a little bit. Um, when you add weight out there, so this bucket capacity is like five thousand pounds. And that is dirt inside of there. I've had a problem lifting 2,500 pounds with my forks on there over the bucket forks. And you know, 12 feet out, that's quite a that's a lot of weight. So I imagine that those trusses up there probably 600 to 800 pounds total probably three to four hundred each um, I can pick up one side of them pretty easily when they're on the ground so I, I know that they're not super heavy um, but way out there that equates to probably close to 5,000 pounds Because the bucket cannot, uh, the, the hydraulics for the bucket cannot hold that. But the arms can. These arms, even though they're leaking, you can see they're leaking pretty good. Um, but it does a great job. You just have to leave it running. You can't shut it off. It'll bleed down way too fast. But other than that, what you want to do is when you have a heavy load and you're up high, you do not want to pivot this right or left or swing this right or left. But what you do want is to move it out. And that'll create a, a really good counterweight for when you have a load way up in the air. And something else you can consider would be the higher you go, um, 
the closer your load comes to the backhoe. So that's good to a point. But this bucket will uh, shake itself both uh, while filling, like if you're filling a load, as I'm sure you other operators understand. So you don't want your piece coming back too far because then it will pivot that whole bucket and that could be really bad. So you might want to just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, a little mini tornado is going on out here. Hopefully our bracing is going to hold. We don't want to work in this weather today. Alright, take care.